Each man kills the thing he loves Each man kills the thing he loves Da 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 this series is a way for people to get a sense of film history through a queer lens. Each man kills the thing he loves. It interrogates this idea of what the camera can capture and what it historically has captured and what maybe it captures when there's a queer filmmaker behind the lens or there's just something different and subversive about the way that person is being filmed. Da -da -da -da. River Phoenix and Keanu Reeves in 1991 in this kind of a love story just remains so subversive. Can you believe it? Faye's a sapphic sister. What results from this movie is something so powerful, which is this idea that we need to reestablish what the canon looks like. It means hope, it means inspiration, it means history. The fact that this kind of scene can even exist in a movie in 1985, featuring a queer South Asian male character, must have been revolutionary. Orpheus was a queer filmmaker, Jean Cocteau, making a film starring a former lover of his, Jean Marais, and Cocteau's new lover also appears in Orpheus. So there's this electrifying friction. You can tell that the camera is totally infatuated with Alain Delon. It really is one of the most homoerotic films I've ever seen. Rainer Werner Fassbinder's Corel, just about as gay as you can get. There's this desire just coded into the way the movie actually looks. I think historically we've been taught to look at movie stars, actors on camera in a particular way. And when a film changes that around, it can feel truly subversive. Oh.